welcome back in my new tutorial I uh, hope you guys is working very well all right uh, today I want to discuss about the GCD all right and uh, how the GCD is working in your applications right and uh, and uh, this is the very important topic uh, for executing any the task and any threads and let's discuss about the uh, what is the thread and how it will be performed and uh, we have uh, we have a thread so right uh, you can see here so I have a thread and uh, this is this is the this is a thread right and uh, and every car has a task to be executed right and it has the two pro, uh, it has the two properties and one is the thread second is the how thread is to be executed it would be the concurrently it would be the queue right uh, how the queue is working right uh, let's uh, actually the queue is working in the form of uh, fifo orders right you can see here so how the fifo is working here right every queue is uh, wait right uh, every task is uh, wait for the uh, for the for the next task to be executed successfully then response to the next one the task right let you can see here so what the queue is working and i have a task uh, of the four uh, in your threads right and first one uh, first one is will be executed then two will be provided to be proceed in executions all right and this is also known as the serial queue right and uh, and every task will be wait for for the next task right to be executed and uh, when the one task will be executed then another will be into the queue right all right guys and you can understand that these things and uh, this whole process is uh, uh, is uh, is the task of uh, is the many and more tasks to be executed in the threads right so uh, let's discuss uh, one more things uh, it is the it is the dispatch queue has the two pros two properties uh, like the type of uh, serial right uh, and second is the concurrent right i have already mentioned here so how the queue is working and the queue basically the work uh, into the one process when we are going to execute and uh, uh, one task will be performed all right to be executed the second one will be wait uh, for the execution the uh, last uh, for, uh, last ones of ahead right and uh, what is the concurrent queue a concurrent queue basically it's working in the simultaneously to be performed the task to be executed in the threads right and it may it is uh, it is the type of the asynchronous method right and q is the synchronous method right and uh, this what the synchronous synchronous basically it's uh, one task to be executed and the second one will be wait for the next one to be executed completely but the asynchronous and it's the task will be worked simultaneously you can see here what the task will be performed okay let's i have the four task is here right and uh, uh the it has uh, for example it's keep the less complexity uh, than the three on the and then it's less complexity it means it will be soon executed right than these ones if uh, if it this task is the more complexity than second one so second one will be executed soon than the task ones so simultaneously it will be performed and every task has a job in the concurrently process right so this is the very fast process to be executed the every task in the threads but in the queue sections there is the less uh, fast uh, than the compare of to the uh, concurrent method uh, as known as the asynchronous methods okay let's uh, one more thing uh, you have to understand the theoretical part as well it's the the dispatch queue will uh, provide the two pro, uh, two types uh, that the main queue and global queue a main queue always working into the main th uh, into the ui part and the 
when we wants to execute uh, execute uh, uh, API to be update on the table uh, let's see you can see here so what is exactly doing here all right I have a tables so right and the API API sorry API containing the several data in an object you can see here what the object is used I have an object here right to be executed right and every object need to be apps these are the tasks to be executed and the whole in the whole of task into a single that is known as the threads right so every task will be executed simultaneously right when you want to be update this the main thread will be called okay let's uh, into the code let's go into the code uh, what is exactly doing in the main thread and as well as the global threads right you can see here how we are working and I have an API uh, let's see here this is the comment API right and uh, I want to go with the this method here and uh, which is uh, perform which is providing the data in the form of uh, codable right and uh, I have an table list and that is uh, UI table view delegate and data source here and uh, I just need to be add all the data uh, let's uh, if actually I did not mention here uh, when the table gonna reload right then the, it will be performed into the main thread right but I did not mention here so I can get the error if you want to be executed right let's see what happening and this is what will happen all right all right let's back to wait a few seconds it will be it will not execute right it's not going to execute because fail and connections reasons this one okay actually i have no net connection that's why it will it is not going to be performed uh, wait a seconds uh, my need is not connected okay let's to be connected wait a seconds right all right all right yeah now connected it let's uh, run the build right again uh, this will trigger the error because I did not mention in the main thread you can see here uh, this will not perform in the main thread that's why I'm getting error because every object on okay execution bad execution is here why we are getting because I I want to be uh, I want to be show the data into the table that's why you have to mention the main thread right and this data will show on your main thread in the table right dispatch queue is here right? you have to dispatch queue right that main right and that is the asynchronous method right asynchronous code would be the executed here right let's click here and every object right in the which is uh, which will show on the table or let's uh, go into the main thread or uh, let's build again right you can see here what is exactly doing in the main thread it will update you on the tables you can see okay you can see here so, and uh, every object is showing on your table without an error because it will perform asynchronously right uh, into the main thread and every object is going into main thread to be update or let's hold the data right uh, and uh, I I wanna execute into the into the background yeah, into the global which uh, which you can see here so what is the type of the dispatch queue this will provide the two type main queue and global queue let's apply the global queue is here right what is exactly dispatch right dispatch queue right and this is the global right global right this is the global and what the global that dot should be the background okay actually this uh, the queue will be the different type of uh, uh, priority basis right you can you can add here what priority you needs to be execute any threads right and this method uh, will be executed into the background because uh, if 
let's copy and paste here all right and you can you can be you can build it right and this whole threads right in the whole thread is executed in the background this process will work in simultaneously and you can see here what the queue will provide here right and this is these are the these are the features will uh, which priority basis to be executed in your thread using the dispatch queue right you can apply any any priority right it can be applied the utility or right? it's the less priority uh, as compared to background right utility you can apply here you can run the bill okay you can run the bill you can see here so this is apply and if you wanna if you want to uh, execute after a few seconds and you can add here and slip right in the th within, within three seconds it can it could be applied and to execute the in your threads right it's it's take one two three oh, okay it's executed because I go I'm going to the slip right and this will apply by the uh, you have to apply here and uh, uh, apply here into the global right and uh, let's see how, what I'm doing in this sections and uh, let's click the result you can see here th this is on to the main thread and you just click it and simultaneously it uh, will display the my result if you want to execute this ones uh, using the global let's the dispatch queue all right this patch queue right and this is this would be the main right and i want to be after some seconds right and uh, after some seconds right and this want to be executed here uh, let's see how uh, how seconds how many seconds you want to be mentioned here and there is uh, some method which will be add here now I want to add uh, that is uh, three seconds right to be executed here uh, into the main threads right when I go with this method I don't need to be any main thread to be applied because I have already applied the main uh, with the asynchronous but after few seconds to be executed let's build it again you can see uh, instead of the sleep method and all method right you can see let's one click here and take one two three right it's gonna result these are the features which is applied by the uh, dispatch queue and this is if you want if you are using the asynchronous it's very fast to be working to be uh, to execute in your main in your threads right and every object to be display on main threads so hope you guys is uh, uh, understand everything right and let's so hope guys and enjoy with this video if you have any doubts you can comment below i will reply soon please subscribe my channel it will motivate me for making more video thank you guys bye and take care